What is up everybody, welcome back to part 4 of my character customization series. Today we are going to be introducing some more customization options for you guys. I got had a lot of requests for this, so today we are going to be doing backpacks. Something I see in a lot of military type games, I guess. Um, and actually a lot of other games to be honest. Kind of looks for a uh, show as the inventory. Or something like that, or something you can store stuff in, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that, so let's get into it. So the first thing I want you guys to do is... Today I will be using these two backpacks as my examples. And both of these will be in a model in the description for you guys to take and use in this tutorial. Um, so let's get right into it. So this one's a simple union, this one is mesh. Works with both, it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do the first thing we're going to do. Is uh, First things first, you're going to make sure your backpack is not anchored. That's very important. Mine are not anchored. Um, yeah, and second thing, we're going to go replicated storage, add a folder. We're going to call it backpacks. Okay, and we're going to take both of these and we're going to drag them in. Drag them backpacks. Close that folder up and we're completed with that. Now we're going to go over to our GUI and we're going to duplicate our hat frame. Select everything inside and we're going to bring it to the side here. We're going to call the title backpacks we're going to go to hat button 2 we're going to call it pack 2 it's kind of changing everything to be honest uh, instead of hat button 2 we're going to call it pack button 2 close that up, go to hat button 1 call it pack button 1 and scroll down, we're going to call it pack 1 boom and instead of hat frame we're going to call it pack frame just to be simple about it boom and now we're going to need to delete both of these local scripts side and we're going to add or just yeah in this case we're just going to add one we're going to do local i'm going to do this a bit different i'm going to show you a second way of doing this um you know firing an event so we're just going to um local storage equals game dot replicated storage dots and this is where we're storing our backpacks and we're just going to do uh backpack just like that we're going to do local events or actually yeah we're going to need to wait hold up we're just going to call it local event storage we did that wrong local event storage equals game dot replicated storage dot event storage dot and this is where we're going to need to add our event so we're going to duplicate an event and we're going to call it pack event one okay let's call it pack event one and uh, actually instead of being calling this event storage we're just going to call it local event and then we'll just put this at the end pack event one boom we're going to go down, we're going to do um, scripts.parent.mouse button, <laughs> one click, connect, function, close it up, and now we're going to do event, colon, fire server, open close parentheses, just like that. That's a simpler way of doing it, if you just add a local instead of all this, you know, blah blah we did with the other ones, I just want to show you that way. So now we're going to close that up, and we're going to go back in our event storage and duplicate it one more time, and we're going to call it pack event 2, just so we don't have to do that again. Close event storage, and we're going to go back to our buttons, and we're going to copy this local script, paste it into our other button, go inside, and instead of pack event 1, we'll call it pack event 2, done. Simple. Close both of your buttons, close your pack frame, close your GUI actually, you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and we're going to open up our main script. Go to the very bottom, and we're going to begin coding. So the first thing we want to do is, I want to make this a little bit simpler. So we're going to do uh, local event storage. I'm just showing all the simpler ways of doing this, so we don't have to like do that whole line of code right there. Um, we're going to do local event actually. So local event equals 
game dot replicated storage dot pack event one or no dot event storage dot pack event one boom and then we're gonna go down we're gonna do event dot on server event colon connect function close parentheses and we're gonna end that off with an end boom so inside of here we're gonna just gonna go down one and we're gonna call we're gonna do local storage equals game dot replicated and this is an instance where we could do something simpler. Go up to our locals, add a local, we're gonna call it uh rep storage equals game dot replicated storage. So that we never have to do that again. So we can just do uh rep storage dot Backpacks dot um, this would be uh back back one yeah backpack oh it's just called backpack okay backpack there we go and uh now that we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and go down one more and do local char equals plr dot character and something we forgot to add up here and the function is just add PLR. We're going to go down again, and now we're going to begin coding the rest of it. So we'll go if char find first child, open close quotations humanoid, space then, local folder equals char dot upper torso dot Packs. We'll just call it for now, and we need to go in our folder create script, and we need to duplicate this line of code right here. This line of code right here. Let's duplicate that, and instead of um, the folder dot parent being head, just change it to upper torso, and the name should be packs. And once you have that, x that back out, go back down, and we're gonna do another line folder colon clear all children and that line will get rid of any previous backpacks that were in or on the character so like when you click the button it will uh, get rid of the previous backpacks so let's actually get into the welding part of this now so we're going to do local upper torso equals char dot upper torso we're going to go down another line local new pack equals this would be, uh, in this case, it would be storage colon clone. You can do that. It's simple. Then we do uh, new underscore pack dot parent equals folder. New underscore pack dot position equals upper torso dot position. Boom. Now we're going to get into the weld. We're going to do local weld equals instance dot new open close quotations weld. Not mean to put that plus there. Get down again. Weld dot parent dot or equals uh, new underscore pack weld dot part zero comma weld dot part one equals upper torso comma underscore or new underscore pack like that and then we're gonna get to the actual weld c0 equals weld dot c0 my bad equals e frame this is the actual position of the uh, backpack um, negative zero comma negative 0 0.2 comma 1 go down another line well dot c1 equals char dot upper torso dot body this is really important body back attachment dot c frame that tells you where and we're just going to go down the line add another end and I'm just going to space this over one to be organized about it oh okay and that's this right here tells uh tells like
it, it attaches it to the back of your upper torso, and then this is the actual position of it. So now we can go and test that out. Click play. See if it works. So customize. Click pack one, and there is our beautiful backpack on the back of our back. I mean, what else can you call it, right? So there we go, and now we're just going to go ahead and do our other backpack here. We go into main, and we simply, it be a lot simpler this time, just uh, copy this. Go down. And instead of this being backpack, we're going to call it backpack. See what we named it, backpack 2. And that should be it, actually. Yeah, that's it. That's all you needed to do. And let's test that out. Some of these might need position positioning in the script, but we'll see. Back to oh, we might have an error. Or not. Okay, hold on. Oh, my bad. We need to make another local. We'll just duplicate that real quick. Call it event two. Uh, let's call it pack event two. That's what we called it, right? Yeah. And instead of down here, we call it event two instead of just event. That was my bad, my mistake. And now we can test it. Let's test it out. Customize pack two. Boom! There is our backpack on our back. Perfect how we wanted it, and like I said, if it's a little bit too far into the back, you can always position it differently. But I like the position; I think it suits it well. This looks kind of like a Revolutionary War type backpack, just something a military person might carry. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, thank you guys for watching so far, and I will see you in part five for my like data store two. I know you guys have been waiting so long for this, but I wanted to perfect it and make it like you know, amazing, so just bear with me, be patient, and I will see you all in the next one, make sure to like, subscribe, join the Discord too for help, if you, any of you need help with anything, any problem, I know some of you are having trouble with the free version, setting it up, I can help with that, just join the Discord, I will see you all later, peace.